Hello, heroes of Kavach. Kato Genesis here with a guide to the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, this time going over each of the nine way shrines you must go to if you're doing a pilgrimage for a certain quest or for role-playing sake. The shortest route I could find will take about 20 minutes uh, less if you're fast traveling. Some of you may be here to ask like why take the pilgrimage in the first place. Well, I have several answers for that question. First is that when you visit each way shrine, the corresponding smaller shrine in the temples will give you a lesser buff from that divine. Most of these lesser boosts being a five point bonus to one of your attributes. Second, visiting nine way shrines shrines of each of the divines as a requirement for the Knights of the Nine expansion. Like the very first part is to make your pilgrimage and then the actual content starts. Third, going on a pilgrimage will reset your character's infamy, which is a stat that you get for doing evil things. While infamy may have a small effect on NPC's disposition towards you, the real pain occurs when the infamy surpasses your fame, at which point you can't receive temple blessings and you'll just get a message to repent your evil ways that you can do with a pilgrimage. The fourth, and probably best benefit of doing a pilgrimage is once you have gone to each of the nine way shrines, you can get the once a day greater power, Pilgrim's Grace, which grants all of the nine's blessings at plus 10 instead of plus five for five minutes. And this also stacks with lesser buffs you can get inside a temple. So there's the reasons now for the nuancey stuff. If you have the Knights of the Nine expansion installed, it can go wonky if you've done the pilgrimage before talking to the priest in Anvil. So. Another one who has come to listen to the madman's rantings. So it will save you a lot of grief if from the start you go to Anvil, talk to the mad priest, do the couple lines of dialogue to get the pilgrimage quest, and then go to each of the way shrines. Also, since Oblivion takes part during uh, the Oblivion Crisis, some Oblivion gates will appear right on top of some of these way shrines and destroy them. Fortunately though, as far as I know, you can still activate those shrines, even if by appearance they are ruined and rubble. For the sake of just in case things go wrong, I've marked all of the way shrines instead of just my route, which we're gonna go over now. So you'll notice that the map the priest gives you is an okay guideline, like it shows on the map where some way shrines are, but there are actually three to four way shrines of each of the nine divines, and the ones that the priest's map marked for you could not be further from each other. So we will start the route right outside the Imperial City Prison as per the usual when you start a character, and go to the southeast over that little island-ish chunk of land. Then across the water, you should see the first way shrine. This will be the Way Shrine of Stendar, and on activation, you will receive a message that says, Protect the weak, pray at my chapel altars to receive my blessings. And speaking of, Stendar's blessing grants a 10 to your endurance for 10 minutes, and does the other healing things that a temple altar would do. Let's move on to the next. From Stendar's Way Shrine, we'll actually be going back west through or around the Imperial City. First, going under the bridge between the market and the prison, around the north side of the Imperial City walls, and ending at the waterfront on the west in view of the Grand Bridge over Lake Rumere. You would have reached the Way Shrine of Julianos, and when activated, it will state, Know the truth, observe the law. Pray at my chapel, altars, etc. I'm not going to read that second part for the rest of them. The Scales of Julianos' Blessing fortifies intelligence by 10 for 10 minutes. So that was shrine number two, on to the third, which is across Lake Rumere to the southwest. Swimming is good for your athletic skill, but just watch out for slaughterfish. Amongst the cluster of roads down here is where you'll find the Way Shrine of Debella, which on activation says love, beauty, and honor its mysteries. And through Debella's kiss, this Way Shrine will fortify personality for 10 points for 10 minutes. For the fourth, we're going to look to the southeast now, crossing another body of water, the White Rose River, I think, and meeting up with the Green Road. There is a fork in the road partway to Breville, and the Way Shrine to Zenithar here is actually right next to the Fargill Inn. Upon activation, it states, Honest labor earns its own reward. And Zenithar grants the blessing Zenithar's Ear that fortifies luck by 10 points for 10 minutes. For the fifth way shrine, we're going to go a little west and southwest across the west Westweald and even passing by the Priory of the Nine, which you can discover on your way. Then you can continue through the west Westweald meadows, and once you're just north of the the, the text of the on the map, I mean, you should find the way shrine of Akatosh. And upon activation, it states, honor the Nine and do your duty. This way shrine will give you the Jaws of Akatosh blessing, which fortifies speed by 10 points for 10 minutes. 
The sixth way shrine is going to be the northwest of Akatosh's shrine into the territory of the town of Skingrad. Once going over the rolling lush hills and cresting a final hill when Skingrad is in view, among some rocks will be the way shrine of Kinareth. Then after activating, it says, go carefully upon nature's path. This will grant the blessing of Kinareth's way, which fortifies agility by 10 for 10 minutes. The seventh way shrine we're going to approach is similar to the Imperial City. We'll be going past Skingrad to the other side of town. So going up the hill that goes around Skingrad Castle, down the hill, and then up the next hill, should see the Shrine of RK popping up right in front of you. When praying at the shrine, you'll hear, Honor your body and spirit. And the way shrine of RK will grant you the Breath of RK Blessing, which, unlike many of the other way shrines, fortifies health, which is a derived stat, by 10 points instead of an attribute for 10 minutes. And sadly, because of the nature of this blessing, it doesn't scale too terribly well. From the Shrine of RK, we'll be traveling northwest to the 8th Way Shrine, and it's not far, we'll just be crossing the Gold Road towards the lower curve of the S of Skingrad on the map. The location known as Cursed Mine may be almost directly in your path, and the Way Shrine should be almost in view at that point. Once it is, and you walk up to it, activate it, and you'll be told to be humble and live in peace by the Way Shrine of Mara. Mara's blessing will be the Wisdom of Mara, which will fortify your willpower by 10 points for 10 minutes. From the Way Shrine of Mara, we will then be going a little ways to the southwest, over the tree-covered hills and past the Shrine of the Daedric Prince Meridia. And once you hit the clearing downhill, you'll be basically at the Shrine of Talos. And you'll be able to rejoice that you've made a pilgrimage, as the text states, and make it a blessing called the Fist of Talos, which fortifies your strength by 10 points for 10 minutes. And if you are following along with this route, you should also gain Pilgrim's Grace, the greater power that grants you each of the Way Shrine's blessings for 5 minutes. Now, if you've been doing the Knights of the Nine expansion, you can continue on with finding the Crusader's Relics and getting some good stuff out of this investment you've just put in. Hopefully this Way Shrine route was a bit more efficient than what you've seen before, and if you like the map that I compiled for future use, an image link for that is down in the description, but if you're not tired of a Oblivion content just yet, I did do videos on the Daedric quests and what Martin has to say about each of the Daedric artifacts, as well as a tips and tricks if you'd like to check those out. If you found this useful, entertaining, or both, please do whatever it is you see fit to show that. Among things you can is by supporting on Patreon like my amazing patrons on screen now, like Wasteland Legends, Sven, and David Hoover. Regardless, I'm just glad you're here. Thank you so very much for watching. I'm Kato Genesis, and may you wander Cyrodiil like you own it.